Katie shouldn't have walked out on me. Again. You know, over what? What, one lousy little drink? She just wants you to be... The, the, the best man I can be. I, I am so sick of hearing that. The one thing that she asked of you tonight you couldn't even do. The alcohol isn't the problem. It's Katie. She's overreacting. It's Stop ridiculous. Stop it! Katie is counting on you. So is your child. Excuse me? My baby. Where is she? Maya, remember? From the homeless shelter, I volunteered there several years ago. I've been away. Now I'm back. I want my little girl. I should probably put another log on. Mm -hmm. I should probably get the popcorn. Forget, Forget the, the popcorn. <laughs> Oh, see this. This is what we were robbed of. Nights like this. So yeah. much more. I know what you're thinking. The beeping is, is driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. I'll be right back. Okay. Listen, I, I need to talk to you about something, and I hope you're alone. more private. You don't want to be seen with me? <sighs> Not that I can blame you after where I've been. How did you find me? The mission. I asked where I could find Daisy Lee and someone there told me where you were. Didn't you get my letters? Emails? I guess not or you would have written back, right? I mean, I know we weren't all that close, but... My little girl. It's been so long since I've held her. Kissed her. She's all that got me through. Just tell me where she is, and I won't ask you for anything else. Ever. My relationship with my sister is sacred. Well, of course it is, Brooke. I know that. I arranged this nice meal for you and Katie so you could spend some time together, and you couldn't even find it within yourself not to drink knowing how she feels. Katie is overreacting, and it's damn frustrating. Did you hear from Steffi? Is everything OK? Are you alone? Uh, that's not really your concern, is it? Meaning you're free to do whatever you choose because you and my daughter aren't married, and she's out of town. Whoa. Look, I don't know why it is you're here exactly, but. Uh, Would you prefer that I leave? Please, don't leave on my account. I'm sorry to blindside you. It's just, I had to wait so long for my court appeal. I, I don't want to talk about prison. I just want to focus on getting my little girl back. You understand? Of course you do. I saw it for myself when I volunteer. You were the first person at the mission that people would turn to. You never judged me or anyone. My own family. 
They didn't want me to come to L.A., take a stab at stardom. But what's the use in years of voice and dance lessons if you just play it safe? Maybe, maybe I should have listened to him. Seeing how things turned out. This is not how this evening was supposed to be. In more ways than one. I'll make it up to her. That's not the point. The point is, Katie is my sister. She's always looked up to me. There's no way I'm going to do anything that Brooke, will jeopardize- you don't have to say that. I need your help with Katie. I want to make it work, but... Help me get through this, Brooke. Please. Steffi is thousands of miles away, and then uh, Hope comes over here to spend as much time as possible with you. You don't think Steffi would have done the same thing had the situation been reversed? The situation has definitely changed. Yes, it has, because Liam and I now know the truth. That, too. Look, you obviously feel justified in being here. Yes, I do. Liam and I were never given a chance. Hope, you have had many chances, many times, but always it's something else that okay. happened what bill and rick did was different y yes it was wrong for them to interfere yeah just like it was wrong for steffi to keep what she knew from liam is that how you feel liam i is it what is it I don't am i asking you too many questions no, yeah, and is I, there a reason for that by the way other than the obvious you're clearly protecting your daughter well Believe me, Brooke will always protect her daughter, just like you would protect your daughter. But I don't have a daughter. Neither does Steffi. However, you know, that may change for us at some point in the future. You, I really hope that you're not envisioning having a family with Liam because I'm, he has a future with, with Steffi. I'm very sorry, Taylor. I know that's not what you want to hear. This isn't about me. Isn't it? I mean, shouldn't you be helping Steffi come to terms with the way things are changing? Well, that's exactly what needs to happen. The three of you need to sit down and you need to talk about this. I understand that you are victims of Bill and Rick scheming, and that is very unfortunate, but it isn't going to change the bond that Steffi and Liam have now. I was talking to your mother a little earlier and I ask her to talk to you and tell you to stay away from Liam. And I have a very good reason for doing that. You've got to feel conspired against. Of course the two of you feel that way and you, you want to recapture your relationship even though Liam is moving on and he's building a future with Steffi. And it doesn't matter if it were Steffi or anybody else. You don't want to be like that, Hope. You don't. You don't want to be like your mother, destroying families okay. and lives no, Taylor, and relationships. Taylor, no, Taylor, no, it, it's not no, okay. it does, and it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter what pulled the two of you apart. I'm trying to tell you if you continue to try to come between Steffi and Liam, you're really going to get hurt. Hope, oh, please, just bow out gracefully. It's what's right. It'll really be best for everyone. Of course, I will help you get through this. If Katie would just stop trying to fix me. You and my sister are going to be just fine. In fact, she's probably waiting for you, anxiously, to kiss and make up. Giddy up, stallion. Ride on home to your wife.
haven't let you get in a word. I'm just so keyed up, you know? I mean, my little girl, she's out there. She won't even remember me. But she was still a baby when I gave her up. My parents, they weren't an option. Any friends I had weren't in no position. I just, I was facing prison for who knows how many years. I had no one to take my girl. You know, I remember, I remember you. Yeah, you were, you were desperate. And like an angel, you came to my rescue. You gave me the chance to put her in a good home. And now I'm back and I'm ready to be her mama. I just can't wait. Please tell me where she is, Daisy. I want to go to her. You know I'm loyal to you, right? Yeah. I, I don't want to say don't talk to Hope or see her. I mean, you guys have a lot to discuss and work out. So... In the meantime, just know I will be back as soon as I can. And also know how much I'm looking forward to coming home and being with you. Uh, the popcorn's cold. I could nuke some more. Yeah, sure, if you want. What I want is for everyone to leave us alone. Well, I know, but you can't blame Taylor. Uh -huh. She's she's Steffi's mom. I mean, what do you expect? No, yeah, he's probably at my mom's house right now. I should <laughs> should go referee. Oh, oh, brave girl. <laughs> just um, just determined. Liam, I don't. I just don't want anything to get in the way for us again. Okay, as much as I don't want to, um, I should probably go. Quick question, though. Hmm. Um, did you feel how I felt like it, like Taylor was holding something back? I mean, obviously not when it comes to my mother. Oh my God, your mom. Taylor does not cut your mom any slack. Yeah, I know. I just don't want anything about what just happened to interfere with you and me. Whatever issues Taylor has with my mom, it has nothing to do with us. I just saw Bill's car driving away. Please tell me you weren't spying on Bill and Katie. Listen, Maya, you need to understand. I do. You helped me and my little baby. Just like I helped other moms and children in that situation. Not because I'm some sort of angel because I know firsthand what happens when the system screws it up. Yes, and you wanted to help us. That's why I had an attorney. So the attorney could handle all the legal stuff. Because the point is, you gave your baby up. I had no choice. I was wrongfully convicted facing years in prison. Exactly. And you did the right thing. You gave your baby to somebody who could take care of it. Look. I'll get a job. Forget the showbiz craziness. I'll, I'll move back to where I grew up. I'll make it work. Okay. Just meet with the people who have my girl. Tell them I want her back. Make them understand, Daisy. Okay. I know you can. Maya, it does not work like that. You signed papers. I know, but I need my daughter. Please, please just do this for me. I have to get back to work. Here's my cell number. If I don't hear back from you, I'll be back. Hey. hey, are you okay? Who was that? 
was one of my clients. How did you get in? I, well, I was about to knock on the door. It was half opened, and when nobody answered. You should have left. Were you out at the cabin? I, I thought this was supposed to be Katie and Bill's night. Yes, I know. I arranged it. Listen, I'm, I'm just wondering if, if you've thought about this. Do you know what really motivated you to do that? Do you think that it was motivated purely out of love and concern, or do you think some of it was out of guilt? Oh, stop it, I'm Taylor. trying to talk to you. I'm trying to give you some very good free advice. Please, just okay. leave it alone. Look, I know how you feel about Bill. I told and you I, know exactly I love how this goes. Katie, and I wouldn't do anything to hurt her. Now, if that's all you came to say, then No, it's not. No, I'm here to talk to you about our daughters. Really? I thought we exhausted that conversation last time Brooke, we talked. I ask you to talk to Hope. I ask you to tell her to stay away from Liam, and I was just over at his house, and Hope was there. And she was trying to have a very cozy evening with him by the fireplace. She's very disillusioned. I'll say this one more time. Hope is an adult. I can't tell her what to do. I can't control her life any more than you can control Steffi's. This isn't about control. This is about guidance. It's about motherly advice, and you need to give her some before she sets herself up for some huge disappointment. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Is there something you're not telling me? Is there something you're not telling me? Have Liam and Hope, have, have they? No, no, but they could. I mean, they've been spending time together. They've gotten and really you, close. And you would be OK with that if they had, if that oh. had happened. That's exactly what I was afraid of, that you would be giving Hope your blessing to make a move on Liam the minute that Steffi was out of town. Oh, Taylor, please. No, because I've already seen this before. I've already lived it. That's. Exactly what you did to my marriage to Ridge. Of course, it didn't matter oh. that we already had a home together and we had a family, so of course, why should it matter to Hope? Of course, she won't care if Steffi... This is not going to happen, Brooke. She is not going to do to my daughter what you did to me. It ends now.